Now then, I've been off assessing today and this is a brief video about these awful things which is the still two-in-one chainsaw filing jig as it were and this is supposed to sharpen the cutters um, taking out the gullets and take the depth gauges down at the same time but anybody who is being assessed having sharpened their chain with one of these with the depth gauge square file in place is going to be in well it's going to be difficult because from my experience these things take the depth gauges down too far and therefore create a very aggressive chain and very readily produced kickback so we're just going to have a look at this and um, and get into the finer details right we're zooming in right this particular jig is for a 3-8 pitch chain let's just zoom down on that there you go 5.2 mil file okay so what we're going to do now is file one of these cutters with this piece of kit and then we're going to measure what the depth gauge is set at so I'll just zoom out of it so the round file is at the back the rectangular square file is at the front and these rails these rails run on the cutter in front so that's and we have an arrow there so then we can just do this except that is in the way so we'll just move back to there and up a bit there we go okay so and then we can restore in the way which is a bit of a pain in the neck okay so we move it right out of the way now so there we go just make sure you use the whole of the file so now we've sharpened the the cutter and sorted out the depth gauge okay so let's just move that back a bit and then we'll measure how much it is between the top of that depth gauge and a line between that cutter and that cutter so that tells you how much that depth gauge is below between that point and that point there we go not down here up there okay so it's from point to point so there's a burr there so that cutter is sharp and that depth gauge has been taken down with this bit of kit so what we have now is some feeler gauges okay that's set at that's 0.8 that is 0.54 0 0.7 let's try 0.7 to start with so what we need to do is we need to put a straight edge between there and there and luckily we've got a depth gauge a proper depth gauge tool well that that slides can you see that very easily through there so that's 0.7 and it should be 0.65 this is 0.8 hopefully you can see that
yeah that easy goes in there so we're obviously we're already too far over the manufacturer's specifications right what we got here let me try and find we had a point eight point seven what is that one I think that is a one mil right so the one mil won't go so it's somewhere between 0.8 and 1 mil. So we want a a combination of a bit difficult to see. Ah, there's a there's 0.1 and a 0.8. So theoretically that should be 0.9. just about so that one is set at 0.9 instead of 0.65 yeah so there you go and of course depth gauge is too low kickback vibration too aggressive it might be all right for, for a professional but for a candidate who's coming up for chainsaw assessment then these are a nightmare if you've got one of these and um, and you're coming up to assessment and say for instance you are um, the last day of training is on the Friday take the square file out you just unclick this end okay and then you can take the square file out take it out and leave it out for the for the rest of that day and during your assessment that means that you'll be sharpening the cutter without taking any more off the depth gauge so the cutter effectively will be getting a little bit lower and your kickback will be reduced now I've just been assessing as I say today and um, one of the candidates had one of these and I said we talked about kickback and and he did say that the chain was quite aggressive and we talked around the subject to the point where the candidate actually suggested taking the square file out it took a little while but it took the square file out sharpened the chain up and of course there was less kickback so there you go so not only have I proved it here but we've also proved it by example with a candidate So I hope you found this useful. I'm just saying that's what I found and that's what I proved. And if you're coming up for assessment, then just pay heed and it, again, it will make your life easier, less stressful. There's nothing worse than being assessed for chainsaw competence with a chainsaw that's kicking like a mule. Yeah? It makes your the possibility of achieving competence rather difficult. Catch up with you soon. Cheers for now.